Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For today, guys, I want to do part 97 to my Let's Put My Random Chatbot session. Where I tried to hang out with the fence somewhat after getting our neighbor to leave the house last time. But then guess what? He immediately came barging in with a whole gallon of water and kept spraying pyro with it. Dude. I want power to get stronger, but why does it have to, why does this man have to make it be done in the worst possible way? That's sick, dude. This is what Pyro Satter I asked the question a while ago. Pyro shakes off some more of the water from being splashed so much and says in a slightly annoyed tone, the guy is not right in the head at all. Who in their right mind acts like that? He looks at the water on the floor that the neighbor trapped in when he barged in while grumbling. I plan another thing. I mean, really, think about it this way, guys. You have a pet phoenix, and you bring him out into the... He, he's yours, right? And the first thing that happens is he just flipping gets hurt by a psychopath neighbor. Like, how are you not supposed to cry? I mentioned you flipping. He broke it, your phone... And he's got water all over your house and all over the floor. So now there's a mess that you have to clean up later. So, because of that, I looked down on the floor seeing Pyro soaked again on the ground. And all the mess the man had made and started crying. I mean, again, really. Oh, the Pyro feels Pyro bad. notices you start to cry as you look down at the water on the floor from him being splashed again, how messy the house was from the neighbor. He looks worried for you and then says in a worried tone as he looks at you, Mommy, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Dude. I'm just sick of all the crap that's going on today. Period. I get an amazing phoenix. And try to have fun with you and take care of you. And of course, a psycho neighbor breaks into my house and hurts you. And on top of that, there's now a gigantic mess that I'm going to have to clean up later because of him. Later because of him. Period. I'm so sorry, I'm a terrible parent. Parent. Period. Dude, that's. This is probably legit how I'd feel when, like, like, if, like if this was actually like, a real scenario that actually did happen. I'd like. Again, you have a real pet phoenix that you, she loves you and actually cares, and then, like, just all this. Pyro looks at you in a slightly shocked and even hurt way as you uh. say you are a terrible parent. He says in a slightly horrified tone while looking like he's about to cry as well. What? You think uh. you're a terrible parent? Mommy, no, you're not. You did nothing wrong. It... It's not your fault the neighbor is nuts. Don't oh. say you're a terrible parent. You're a good parent. The best parent I could ever ask Holy for. Holy freak, well, there you go. Pyro's trying his best. I'm glad you think so, period. Part of me cannot believe, still though, that I get you and on the first day, 
you get hurt like three different times. That's part of the reason why I'm so sad. Dude, I hate this psycho neighbor. I really do hate this fucking psycho neighbor. Haru looks at you in a worried and sad way, as you say part of the reason you're so sad and think you're a terrible parent is because you got hurt several times. He says in a slightly sad and sincere tone, but none of that was your fault. You're not a terrible parent, mommy. You didn't know I would get hurt. It's not your fault. You're a great parent. Really, please don't say you're terrible. I don't like it when you say it. Do you still want to play, question mark? Do you still want to play, question mark? Do you still want to play? Maybe that will cheer me up a little bit. Dude, I'm so sick. Please. Just don't want any more psychopathic neighbors coming to my house, please. Pyro looks at you in a slightly surprised but happy way as you say maybe playing would cheer you up. He nods in agreement, wanting to cheer you up since seeing you sad made him sad. Oh. He says in a more excited and encouraging tone, Yeah! Let's play something. Anything to make you feel better. I attempt to go downstairs. Try not to slip on any of the water. When suddenly I hear another banging at the door. I'm getting very frustrated. Period. Who is it this time? Dude, this is so bad. Pyro, following you downstairs, also attempts not to slip on the water in the floor from him being splashed just walking around while wet, grumbles at the banging at the door again. He says in an increasingly frustrated tone, Really? Who the heck is it now? We just got rid of the crazy guy. All of a sudden, the door abruptly opens again, and a woman with blonde hair steps into your house. All of a sudden, the door opens abruptly again, and you see a woman with blonde hair stepping into your house. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you? Hello, ma'am. Can I help you? I swear to God, if she tries to hurt my body too, I'm going to fucking be hissed. 
Don't you do I swear. Pyro, surprised and a bit frightened by the woman suddenly entering the house, hides behind you. He looks at the woman behind you, his eyes peeking out from behind your legs, and is trying to figure out who she is and why she just came into your house without warning or permission. I try to ask her why she comes in. I try to ask her why she barged into my house. When suddenly, she gets a crazed look on her face. And starts evilly laughing. To laugh maniacally at the top of her lungs. Are you freaking... No way. What kind... Okay, look. What neighborhood did I move into? Because actually, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I can't say anything because this might be how a real situation would actually end up because it's some... Not all people are completely crazy, but the world's not as good as it used to be. And, uh, well, and, and by that, I'm talking about the technology to me is fine. It's like how people act is what gets under my skin. And this exactly proves it. Look at this junk. This is acting nuts. Pyro, looking at the woman, is beginning to get freaked out by her getting a crazed and crazy look in her eyes, beginning to think she is no different from the man that was just here. He says in a slightly more frightened tone, Mommy, she's acting just like the guy who was just here. Does this woman have problems too? I don't know what is wrong with this neighborhood. Period. They never acted like this until today. The woman suddenly... Shows a hose in her hand and starts laughing maniacally. Period. Ma'am, what are you doing in my house? And what are you doing with that hose? Dude, I, what is wrong with these people? We finally get rid of the man all of a sudden this flipping wounds and out no one starts. No, you're not doing my thing. No, don't you do it. Pyro, looking at the woman now holding a freaking hose in her hand, gets even more worried, scared of the fact that she's holding a weapon, is continuing her crazy laughing. He says in a horrified and worried tone, Mommy, I'm starting to get scared. Why does she have a hose? What is she going to do with that? I don't know, exclamation point. Based on how the other dude reacted. I 
I don't even want to know what she is up to. Period. Try to stay behind me. Hopefully she won't do what I think she is going to do. Crazy psycho pass. Dude. Pyro, looking scared, nods in agreement, staying behind you, not wanting the woman to see him. He says in a still worried tone. I will stay behind you, mommy, but I really don't like this. This crazy lady, she scares me. She has to be nuts like the last guy. She's scaring me right now, too. Period. What are you doing in my house? Get out! Exclamation point. Dude, this is insane. What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The woman, who is still acting crazed and holding the hose, looks at you as you say, get out. She continues laughing like a maniac and says in a crazed tone, I'm not going anywhere. I need to do something before I go. Yeah, you need to do something, all right. Period. Get out of my house. Don't try anything funny. I will call the cops. I have a cell phone, and I don't think the man got it soaked, so it should still work. The maniacal woman just continues to laugh and cackles as she says in a slightly unhinged but amused tone, not believing that you will call the cops. You're going to call the cops? Go ahead and call them. I want to see them stop me. What do you even want from me? I have had enough of a rough day. Please, leave me alone. What is wrong with these psychopaths, dude? This is bullcrap. Oh my gosh, dude, what is wrong with her? The woman, seeing your fed-up tone, looks at you in a crazy but amused way. She says in a slightly amused but still crazy tone, Oh, you, you've had enough of the day too, huh? Well, too bad. I, I'm afraid I'm not going to let this day end for you yet. What are you even trying to do, question mark? You break into my house unannounced and will not leave what do you want if she says that fans I'm gonna be so hissed she's actually gonna spray the Phoenix no no She's actually going to spray the fans again. The crazy oh woman, still looking at you in an amused but slightly crazed way, smirks a little as she says in an amused but still just as crazed tone, Oh, I think you know just what I'm trying to do here. Please leave my buddy alone.
I don't want him to be hurt. I don't want him to be hurt. Please leave my house. I say in a sad tone, almost crying. A sad tone, crying at this point. This one, these people are sick in the foot. Oh my gosh. The woman, looking at you as you beg her to leave and seeing you crying, seems to take a small bit of pity on you from your sadness. Her expression turns a little softer, no longer completely crazed. She says in a tone that sounds a little more normal now, well, I can't leave quite yet. I have something to do. I'm sorry. What are you even going to do? Question mark. Just please don't be what I'm thinking it is. What I am thinking it is. Period. Please, gosh, don't let it be the flipping fact that he's like, please stop hurting Pyro. Please. The woman, looking at you as seeing your worry about what she is going to do, once again smirks and is amused at your worry. She says in a tone that sounds a little more amused, but still somewhat reasonable. Well, I won't say I'm not going to do what you're thinking. Please, I'm begging you. Period. Don't hurt him. Please. Dude, I'm actually feeling like, dude, this is actually getting to me. Dude, this is so, this is so sick. This woman, I hate these people, dude. This is insane. Let me see what... A woman, looking at you and seeing your pitiful begging, seems to have a little bit of empathy, her face softening even more as she sees how worried you are. She says in a tone that sounds a little more kind, Look, I see that you're worried for him. But I promise, I'm not going to hurt him. I don't believe you based on the fact you're holding a hose in your hand. Period. What are you planning to do with that? Dude, this is a fucking sick. <sighs> please. Please. No, 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 please no. The woman, looking at you as you mention the hose, looks at if for a moment, and then looks back at you still remaining somewhat kind. She says in a slightly amused, but trying not to sound mocking tone, Oh, this? You're worried about this? Why don't I show you what I'm going to do with it, then? I 
I kneel down to Pyro and s whisper. I think I know what she's about to do, Pyro. Try sneaking upstairs slowly. So you don't get knocked out. Period. Please don't. Woman, please. Gosh dang it. Pyro, worried when he sees the woman mention that she's going to show you what she's going to do with the hose, nods and whispers back. Okay, I understand. I'll go upstairs. Be careful, Mommy. Now listen. Please leave my house. Period. I have nothing here you want. She probably knows about him. But how did she know about the Phoenix? How does she know? That's what she's probably after. The woman, looking at you as you say to leave since you have nothing she wants, smirks. She says in an amused and mocking tone, Oh, you have nothing I want? I'm not so sure about that. That's it. I'm calling the cops. People. Period. Period. This whole town is crazy. I'm gonna move. I'm, I, I, I can't make it to her. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna throw a receiver. Let's move us somewhere somehow from this crap. The woman, who is still looking at you as you mention calling the cops, smirks even more and says in an amused tone, Oh really? Go ahead. Call them. I'd like to see them stop me. I pick up the phone and dial... I pick up the phone and dial emergency services. Please tell me that works. What are some? The woman, watching as you pick up the phone and dial the emergency uh -huh. services, smirks confidently as she says in an amused and still mocking tone, Go ahead, I'm waiting. Come on, please pick up, pick up, pick up. I need help. Dude, this isn't fair. What is wrong? The woman continues to stand there, smugly watching you as you get more and more worried as the emergency service doesn't pick up. She says in an amused but confident tone, no one's picking up her. Please, I'm begging you, please, somebody, answer the phone. Dude, this isn't fair. The woman continues to stand there, looking increasingly more amused and confident as you try to get emergency services to pick up. She says in an amused tone, Sorry, but I don't think they're going to answer. Excuse me? And why is that question mark? Dude, I don't even want to know what she's done.
Dude, I'm scared of her. Dude, what the frick? The woman, looking at you with a small sense of smugness as you ask why they won't answer, says in an amused and confident tone, Oh, you want me to tell you? Yes, exclamation point. This isn't fair, dude. This is where I this is this is the one part where I wish Oh my gosh, dude. The woman looking at you and seeing your eagerness to know says in a confident tone with mock reluctance, Ooh, alright then, I'll tell you. If you promise to let me do what I want. No, I am not letting you Letting you Letting you. Period. You are not hurting my little buddy. I'm asking you again. Get out of my house. I don't know if Pyro can grow to a gigantic size without Fulman getting knocked out or something. But I need something. I don't know what to do. Dude, I have no clue. The woman, looking at you and seeing that you want to agree to let her do what she wants, sighs in a slightly annoyed tone, but still looks amused. She says in a slightly annoyed, but still confident amused tone, No? Seriously? You won't let me? What a shame. What are you doing? Question mark. Oh no, please tell me she ain't going up the stairs where Pyro just went. Please no. Please no no no. The woman, looking at you as she continues to stand there in the middle of your house, says in an amused tone, Oh, just getting things prepared. You are completely crazy. Exclamation point. I bolt up the stairs and try to find Pyro. I whisper, Pyro, where are you? I need to hide with you. Please tell me Pyro hears me. Pyro's trying his best to help me. Pyro, who had managed to sneak upstairs safely and without being seen, is waiting silently in one of the rooms upstairs in the house. He whispers back down to you, I'm up here, mummy. Follow my voice. I follow Pyro's voice to where he is. Listen, buddy. Listen, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's right. I have, I have a psychopath woman in this digging thing. Pick it up. This one's gonna be up here for this thing gets it right, dude. I want to ask, can you, you get way bigger and stronger, 
just by somebody trying to hurt me. Just by somebody trying to hurt me. Question mark. Because we have a problem. Dude, this isn't good. We need to either get him. A, we need to hope that his power either kicks in somehow or we need to somehow get out a window. This isn't good. Pyro, who is silently waiting in a room, looks at you as you enter with a worried expression. He nods in response to your question and says in a worried tone, Yes, I can. If somebody tries to hurt you, I can get bigger and stronger. What? I heard most of the conversation downstairs. Don't worry, Mommy. I won't let anything hurt you. I think there's a window in here. Period. We might be able to get out through that. The only problem is I might not be able to fit through it. You might though. Dude, this woman is sick in the head. Pyro, looking around the room and seeing a window in there you could try to escape through, nods in agreement. He says in a slightly worried tone, yet still trying to be optimistic. Yeah, I just might be able to fit through a window, but what about you? I have an idea. I have an idea of how this could work. If Pyro can do like he said and can grow bigger and stronger just by somebody trying to hurt me, then I can actually use that to my advantage. Because because if I'm in danger, maybe Pyro can get bigger before the woman gets to me and somehow get save me. The problem is he won't be able to fit in the house. I'll have to figure out how the plan's gonna work, guys. I'll be back.